New Haven Harbor is a beautiful place. There's a small harbor where most of the cruise liner from Europe is stopped here and let the tourists enter from here. And uh, it's really, the views from here is absolutely stunning. And even the locals, they go for a walk from here. And all the people who have their own private bush just go from here. So that's why the new tram station is connected to New Haven. New Haven, the new tram station, right here. Yeah. Trams goes from here frequently. Next tram, I think it's almost over 10 minutes, 15 minutes, it depends how the thing goes. Okay. It's beautiful, you know what? It's amazing. Here is the platform number one to the towards city center. And platform number two is right over there for the people. You can reactivate your car here. It's only time if you want to get a car. The senior car. You have to reactivate the whole time for you. You can buy your ticket right here. It's very easy, you can buy tram ticket, bus ticket all together, you can get single ticket or day ticket, it's easy. You can select your ticket and then simply you can pay by contact us. Or if you got some fines, you can pay by inserting points here. This tram basically is connect. New Haven Harbor to Edinburgh City Centre, sorry, and uh, it's connecting, especially Ocean Terminal, and that's one of the busiest parts because so many tourists just come there. Another tram is coming from the Edinburgh Airport. It's here. Let's ride. Let's explore the extension part of Edinburgh trams. This extension is just from York Place to New Haven. As I mentioned, here is a small harbor. Cool. Anyway, tram is really it's nice, comfortable. The cover, you know, there is enough space for luggage, for people to go to airport, you know, comes from airport, so enough for baggage, luggage. But at the same time, there is enough seats, there are more spaces for people to stand. And at the same time, you know, place for disabled people, as you can see. There's a good space for luggage, for the bags. There's a different space for disabled people, for the wheelchair, and for the person. Thousands of people come every year to see this yacht. Queen, the light queen, we used to use this yacht and now it's just over there standing here and uh, attending thousands of tourists every year it's a beautiful yacht and as they say that only the rich can afford a yacht this is what it is so at the moment we're just passing by one of the most famous and modern shopping center is Washington Terminal. We're just crossing that bit. It's, it's, it's huge, it's big, there are so many things. And now we're just heading towards Port of Leith. And all this part is new development here. As you can see, they're building new houses and all these things, so it's just happening a lot here. And I think, to be honest, don't get me wrong. And the tram bring more investment to Leet. Leet area. Look at that. This part is beautiful. That is a bit part of Port Leet. But here there is Victoria. I forgot the name of this fling lunch or something like that. And that's like a hotel. So it's just a beautiful area and we are heading towards the Port of Leet. This part is already part of Port of Leet. And further down there, here we go. 
have the fourth boat. So this is the stop. From here you can get off and just go around to have a look around for the fleet and that uh, bit of area. For the people who are living here, the new built properties, you know, they can just use this tram just to get you know, around from town and all other places. So here, right over there, that blue and then dash, the fourth port, it's called I think the fourth port, if I'm not wrong, it's full summary. Anyway, we're heading towards Constitution Street. Oh, we are here. It's the fourth port. So uh, here you can see, right here after the traffic light, you can see the old assembly hall. Yes, assembly hall. You can see so nowadays, I mean, yeah, it's not an assembly hall anymore, but it's been turned into apartments and all these things, the holiday lodge and all these things. But because before that, that's a stop for the shore, for you can get up from here and you can just walk to the shore and walk around. That, that's one of the assembly hall part of the lead, uh, lead area. And uh, you can have a water of lead. Well, there are some cafes and you know, restaurants and restaurants and it's, it's really nice the shore most of the people will know about that so i mean this part before buses uh, and the cars and all this thing was running here and now they stopped all the thing so this part is just used for uh, by the trams and pedestrians to show the other people who lived here they have to use yeah, uh, cars and other stuff, you know, they have to use the back streets. Anyway, we are heading towards the heading towards the foot of the walk. So, we walk most of the people they know. So, this way, oh, yeah, why? Here, yeah, yeah, foot of the lead, foot of the walk, lead walk, the foot of the lead, whatever you call it. So, we just enter into the lead walk. And uh, we're heading upwards. Sure. It's nice. To be honest, I like it. And overall, okay, it does try so many businesses. It does try so many things. People like not disturbed. Make huge hassle. No, the property prices went too high. Businesses are gonna do a bit more well, and just because of um, so lead, which was like yeah, get my phone. So no, it was now. I can see. City center. Because it's all shops and everything, but tram put more into it. Now it looks much better. Looks beautiful. It attracts more tourists and especially the value of the property, the value of the business, the to walk, they gain a lot. So, we just crossed to London Road, as you can see over there, and I missed a view of Carlton House. I saw it. So, here, my view over there, so London Road. Yeah, during the festival time, it's right. You can see there are a couple of restaurants. Yeah, most popular. Like Cosmo, and other things. Omni Center, and uh, the Omni Center. You got Sanma, and all those things. Right over there, we got Dabnams, and uh, oh, sorry, Asha, seeing James Quarter, renewable property, and this one. I'm not wrong. I'm going to send it right here. It's only it's over there. Yes, okay. There's a new belt. I think they're building a new statue here. There's some kind of memorial. James so that's the old stop where the, the old tram ends here. That was the last stop of the tram before this extension, the York Place. But that stop is no more. It's, there. True. it's not anymore. Mm -hmm. So we're heading to this. This is right. That's right. I do want to. And uh, we just. Getting further, passed by Queen Street. Queen Street. Let's change this 
Here we got entrance from the underground bus station. St. Andrew's Square. From here on our way, you know, old building. A beautiful old building. At the moment, the Royal Bank of Scotland. They're using it in two years. It's absolutely stunning. As you go, they spend thousands of Thousands of them. Maybe a of them. Maybe a of I'm going to go over there now. Here, the channel is here. The mum is home for dinner. She might have it on this tram. Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to go over there. Oh, I'm going to go over there. That's gorgeous, really. Pizza. That's the tram. Passing by. If you have a tummy. It's gorgeous, it's just like that. Oh, McDonald's! You want McDonald's? What? It's McDonald's. It's a bad thing. It's the traffic. It's a It's really nice, and uh, people, there are so many arguments, people say that it's too much, it's cost too much, but at the end of the day, it increased the you know, connection between Ocean Terminal and Leeds and all that part, and the services, they are busy, the festival is extremely busy. I love this extension, you just like the only common section of the world. 